What's up everybody? Just finished recording my second workout Wednesday video up here at the off-grid cabin and I want to go through my workout and what I did. So again, I started off with a 15 minute core workout. Same routine as last time. Fraser Wilson, 15 minute ab workout. Did my best to keep up with him and keep proper form and withstand several occasions of an overwhelming burning sensation in my core. <laughs> but I was able to withstand and make it through the entire 15 minutes. Then I hopped over to the weight bench over there. So when I work out my chest and triceps, I use these wrist straps because I get a lot of pain in my wrists. Those wraps help add some extra support here. So the weight of the dumbbells and, and my body weight gets distributed throughout my whole forearm. So that's why I'm using those wrist straps. But I started off with four sets of dumbbell bench press. Pretty simple exercise, down and up with the dumbbells, bringing them together at the top and trying to get a good stretch at the bottom before I press up to the top. Then I did some dumbbell chest flies next. Kind of replicates what you see a lot of people doing in the gym using cables. Like they have one cable over here, another cable over here, they kind of lean forward and they pull the cables together to push them together. But obviously I don't have cables up here. So that chest fly exercise with the dumbbells kind of replicates that. You can go a little bit too far when you're down here with the dumbbells, so you don't want to go too crazy, but I just try and stay in control the whole time. So if I go too far and lose control, that's not going to be good. So I'm, I'm squeezing the entire time down and then I just know intuitively, all right, that's a good, good enough stretch right there. And then bring it back up to the top and touch the dumbbells together. Next, I use my custom parallette bars that I made to do some push-ups, parallette push-ups. And I try and go as low as possible, pretty much touch my nose to the ground and then push up and did four sets of those, four sets of everything today. I did high reps on that one. My chest was burning after those parallette push-ups. Then I finished off my checks and exercises with some dips, just four sets of body weight dips. I'm at the point where I'm just on the edge of like my natural body weight is difficult enough for me, uh, maybe within the next couple weeks, I'll start adding a dumbbell between my legs to add some extra weight to make it a little bit more difficult. <sighs> <sighs> then I finish off the chest and tricep portion of my workout today by isolating my triceps with a couple of different exercises. Uh, what did I do first? Oh, I did dumbbell skull crushers. So this is like, it's kind of like the reverse of dumbbell curls for your biceps. You just lay down and give full extension of your triceps all the way down, all the way back up in control the entire time, squeezing at the top. I'm trying not to just push all the way to the top and then just let gravity take over until I reach the bottom and like slam them back down. I am in control all the way to the top and then slowly let it back down and in control on the bottom too. In control the whole time. That goes for all of these exercises. And I finished off with some tricep kickbacks, just leaning over a hand on the bench, knee on the bench and really isolating the tricep muscle, keeping my back straight, holding that bench for support and just trying to focus completely all the focus is in the tricep. It's really squeezing at the top. It burns like crazy once you get to the top, but then slow back down, squeeze at the top, slow back down, squeeze at the top. Really feeling it there with those ones. After 15 minutes of abs, chest and triceps takes a little bit longer because I do more exercises than back and biceps. So I was doing that for probably 40 minutes. So this was a longer workout. Then I put on my running shoes and ran up the same hill that I did last time up to the top. Luckily today was a clear day, so I got a beautiful view. Still super cold, but man, when the sun is shining, that makes all the difference. Fantastic conditions for a morning run. So that's just over four and a half miles. Then 
then I came back and made some breakfast. So I'm staying on the grind. I know I said last time I'm trying to do these types of workouts five days a week. Last week I did four. <laughs> four workouts in a week so I'm slacking but just making this video again and going through the process of recording is like man you gotta you gotta stick to those goals so I'm on track today's Wednesday I uh, worked out Monday Tuesday and today so only two days left two more days this week I'm gonna take tomorrow off but right right back at it Friday and then Saturday so hopefully this gave you some ideas of ways that you can stay in shape off grid or even if you just have some equipment like this at your home so no excuses get after it people <laughs>